good evening. Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for being here on Friday night to listen to what I have to say on Project Merkle Tree. Uh, my name is Eve, and our journey this evening will be about discussing what is Project Merkle Tree, why is Project Tr Merkle Tree important, uh, in relation to that, why is regulation important, and what are the main regulatory issues at the moment, as well as what are the current and future dynamics of regulation in the blockchain and Bitcoin or decentralized digital currency sphere. Now, uh, Miracle Tree is um, a centralized uh, database of regulatory information. As you can see from the map, we track the regulatory approaches that each individual country has in relation to decentralized digital currencies. As you can see from the map, some, current, some countries are more uh, favorable towards others. Um, yellow, in this case, being a contentious position, whilst the red being an extremely hostile uh, position. Uh, for example, we have the UK. This, we break down the, the tax and the regulatory information um, for you, and we do so for free. Now, why do we do this? Um, we do this because we believe that regulation is important. Uh, we believe that regulation is important to protect customers, to protect firms. Most importantly, it guarantees accountability. And it breaks down the barriers of entry and creates a level playing field because everyone has to observe the, of the same rules. Now, that doesn't happen every time, and especially in the banking industry, and many times people get fined quite a lot of millions for it. Uh, regulation also allows for economic, in, um, economic growth in the industry and in the market itself, and it promotes competition and thus innovation by passing on benefits to individual consumers. Now, in the past, we've had several issues with deregulation and absence of regulation. The 2008 financial crisis is a primary example of that. In that case, we had a market of collateralized debt options which were being traded in an unre unregulated market, and this cost us $12.8 trillion. Um, as taxpayers, uh, we had to put the bill, and that was, that was a very nice thing. In that context, we had traders and companies that would trade in an unregulated and poorly supervised market. Now, in the Bitcoin and blockchain sphere, the main issues that we have are, for example, illegal goods and services trading, for example, Silk Road, classic example, uh, fraud, um, we had the Security and Exchange Commission, Exchange Commission versus uh, the Shavers and Bitcoin Savings and Trust. We have very big problems when it comes to insider trading and market manipulation, such as the pump and dumps, as well as tax evasion. Now, these issues, um, these issues cost a lot of money. Up until now, they've cost us between 800 million to 1.2 billion dollars uh, in consumer losses. That is our money, which is being lost, because at the moment we are not protected. And funny enough, the total market value of, for example, Bitcoin is 4.1 billion. This means that one dollar spent out of every four will be lost, statistically. And the failure rate of Bitcoin businesses in 2013 was 45%. Uh, I'm do not, not mentioning startups here. I'm mentioning uh, already established businesses such as exchanges. Now this brings us to what is happening now. And brings us to the so-called Wild West metaphor. And to my first point about why uh, Merkle Tree is important as a tool for consumers. Now, in this metaphor, we have original cryptocurrency users, new cryptocurrency businesses, banks, and mainstream users, Ponzi schemers and petty criminals, and government regulators and institutions. Now, the original cryptocurrency users could be seen as the natives, the, the ones who were already there, the ones who 
use it for legitimate purposes. And along come the so-called settlers, the ones who want to make the most of this new uh, fertile blockchain, blockchain space. But they can't do so until the outlaws, the outlaws have, haven't been moved on. So our Ponzi schemers and petty criminals, and so they, they call along the cavalry. The issue here is that uh, the natives get caught in the crossfire, and so all the people who legitimately want to use Bitcoin and blockchain services get marginalized. Now, this is an issue which um, we will, might all have to come to terms with if we do not sort of, how do you explain this? Uh, not collaborate, but <laughs> uh, maybe cooperate with the government regulators. Now, Merkle Tree is important in this context because it allows you to visualize the current situation around the world. And as consumers, we must be aware of what is happening, especially if you are a sort of, you want to start up a, a blockchain based business uh, in your country, you want to know the basic information of what the GAP guidelines are in terms of taxes and regulation. Uh, thank you very much. That's me for today. Um, I think there'll be plenty of questions for the legal panel, so I'll leave it to next. Yeah, Christian. Thank you very much.